Have you ever wondered why you're still so fatigued, sluggish, and lacking energy? Even with high testosterone, maybe you've had a blood test and you've seen your testosterone above 800, 900, maybe even 1,000 nanograms per deciliter, but you still feel average. You don't have energy. You just feel like you're not accessing that high testosterone. Well, let me point out that there are many different reasons for this. You might be suffering from one of these potential five issues that you're not aware of. The first one is that you might have high testosterone, correct? Yes, you've got a blood test, you've verified that, but you actually might have low iron. Now, this actually happened to me. Funnily enough, I actually ended up anemic, and this was actually through donating too much blood and taking too many supplements that actually block the absorption of iron in the body. Now, many supplements exist out there that you're probably already taking that have, has this effect that you're not even aware of. So one of them is that curcumin can lower iron, drinking coffee with iron-rich foods can reduce iron absorption, drinking tea with iron-rich foods can reduce absorption, consuming um, any other like polyphenol can also um, disrupt iron absorption, maybe like resveratrol, things like that. What I want to mention here is that if you have high testosterone, but you have low iron, you won't feel good, right? You just will still feel fatigued. You'll, feel, you'll still feel sluggish. You won't have energy. You'll feel dizzy. You'll feel like going to the gym is exhausting. You'll feel like you're just not feeling strong. Low iron is not a fun state to live in. In fact, when I had low iron, I also experienced low mood. Um, I was lacking motivation. And that is because iron is actually a cofactor to help convert um, L-tyrosine into L-dopa and from L-dopa into dopamine. So actually iron is a cofactor for the synthesis of dopamine. Not many guys know that. <clears throat> when you have low iron, that also increases your chances of having high prolactin. Now prolactin puts the handbrakes on testosterone. So if you have low iron, there's a potential that you might have high prolactin. So that's the first point. Obviously, the ways to address low iron, stop taking things that block iron absorption, increase iron uh, absorption through supplements like lactoferrin, um, and also improve stomach acid production through bitter foods. Once you replenish your low iron, then there's a good chance you'll feel many benefits associated with the high testosterone that you were actually previously looking for. So don't overlook the importance of iron. The next one is that number two, you might have high testosterone, but you have low thyroid hormones. I have seen so many different blood test results over the years. Many guys send me their blood work and they want me to develop them a protocol, right? They pay me to develop a advanced, customized, personalized supplementation protocol based upon their blood work. Now, some guys out there, in fact, I would say one in three guys that send me their blood work, when I have a look at their blood work, their thyroid hormones are not where they should be. Now, low thyroid hormones can massively affect your energy levels. Specifically, we're looking at T3. Forget about TSH. I'm not so much interested in TSH. What I care about is T3 and also T4, but specifically T3. If you have low T3, right, you will not have enough energy to get through the day without stimulants. Now, guys that have high thyroid hormones, such as high T3, and I'm talking above 5.8, above 6, they generally have a lot more energy. They feel more vibrant. They have better bowel movements. They have better digestion they have just better overall vitality, and they can also drop body fat very easily. If you're a guy that has high testosterone and low thyroid hormones, then you are simply missing out. Stop focusing on testosterone and your focus should be optimizing thyroid. This is why there's no one size fits all approach and that you need to focus on what's unique to your biology. There are many different reasons why you might have low thyroid hormones. It could be nutrient deficiencies. It could be iodine deficiency. It could be selenium uh, insufficiency. It could be um, excessive fluoride intake. It could be excessive stress. 
There are many different reasons why you might have low thyroid hormones, but the good news is that there are many different supplements and ways to actually boost thyroid hormone production. Now, you guys know how much I've talked about testosterone on my channel and the importance of testosterone in muscle growth, recovery, energy levels, and even sex drive. But here's the reality. Testosterone levels naturally decline as you age. And by your 30s or 40s, levels can start dropping by about 1% per year, leading to a harder time building or maintaining muscle, longer recovery periods, lower energy and endurance, and decreased motivation and focus. Now, if you're pushing yourself in the gym but not seeing the gains you should or feel more fatigued than normal, then I highly recommend checking your testosterone levels by getting tested. And I've partnered with today's video sponsor, LabCorp On Demand, that enables you guys to do regular blood testing yourself. LabCorp On Demand offers over 70 different blood tests that you can purchase directly without a doctor's appointment. Just straight up access to the lab tests that you need. Now, I personally have used LabCorp to assess my blood work and take a look at my own blood test results. And I've been a big fan of checking testosterone levels about two to three times per year. And my testosterone levels tend to hover around 850 to around 980 nanograms per deciliter year round. So this is a really powerful and effective way to keep on top of your testosterone levels and to check objectively instead of subjectively. You can go to trialco.com forward slash boost your biology to purchase a test and then make an appointment or walk into one of LabCorp's 2,000 plus patient service centers for sample collection. Now your sample will be collected using the same method as your doctor's offers, no need to prick your finger. Testing is performed at LabCorp's CAP accredited, CLIA certified clinical laboratories that typically process 3 million samples every single week. You can even skip the waiting room and wait in your car or outside until the lab technician is ready to see you. You'll be notified by email when your results are ready as early as the next day. You'll be able to view your easy to read results online in your LabCorp patient account. For results that require prompt attention, you'll be contacted by phone or email. So if you're serious about staying strong, optimizing performance, and knowing your testosterone levels, head over to trialco.com forward slash boost your biology and use code boost your biology to get 20% off your test today. The next one is actually you might have high testosterone but have low dopamine. So this is point number three, why you might feel tired even with high testosterone. So here's a really important point. If you are a guy that has high testosterone but you have low dopamine because you're using social media, you're um, doing things that deplete dopamine, you're lacking sunlight exposure, then low dopamine could dramatically affect your energy levels. And this is why I'm so big on supplementing with catuaba bark, um, which is the supplement that I literally just released. It's to address this low dopamine issue. If you're a guy that has high testosterone and you think you have the symptoms of low dopamine, low dopamine symptoms include uh, attention issues, ADHD, lack of focus, lack of motivation, lack of drive, then you need to try Catuaba Bark because it's a herbal supplement that I've just released that supports the dopamine system. It helps to increase dopamine in the brain. I'll leave that linked in the video description down below. If anyone actually wants to check that out, I'll leave that linked in the video description down below. Number four is that you might have high testosterone and still feel tired if you have low cortisol. I know some people are going to be confused by this, but if your cortisol levels are way too low, I mean very, very low, then low cortisol can dramatically make you feel more fatigued. And it does this by, think of it like this. When you wake up in the morning, if you have low cortisol, it's going to be very difficult to get out of bed and get going. Most guys will rely upon coffee or stimulants to jack up their cortisol levels. But there are other ways to actually naturally boost cortisol levels. One of them is actually the, my, one of my favorite ways to do this. That is to get outside first thing in the morning and expose your face and body to sunlight. If you can't do this, then use a light box. This is what I do when it's not sunny in the morning. It does help to increase cortisol. Um, and in addition to that, there are other, other supplements out there that actually have the benefit of increasing cortisol as well. So adrenal cortex is another one. 
Now, the fifth and final point why you feel tired, even with high testosterone, is because you are wasting your time hanging around lazy people. And I mean people that don't get things done. They just sort of do the bare minimum. You are the sum of the five people you hang around most. So if you are hanging around lazy individuals, people that don't want to do things, you know, they're always taking shortcuts, then that will affect your biology. The environment around you dramatically affects how much energy you have. And if you're around people that are always complaining, are always negative, are always procrastinating, then you will take shape and you will mimic and your behaviors will be um, molded to suit your environment. This is why it's really critical to hang around people who are getting things done, who are productive, who are high energy. That energy is contagious. Remember this last point. The energy of the people around you is completely contagious. So make sure you're hanging around people who are, you know, people that you want to, you look up to, you're, you're inspired to be around and are positive minded individuals. So that pretty much wraps up today's video. Why you feel tired when even with high testosterone, these are the five critical points to consider. If you did enjoy this video, please like the video, hit subscribe down below to stay up to date with the latest and greatest health research.